Hello everybody, what is up Prof Toast here and today we're going to be starting on Kirby Star Allies. This is definitely one of the ones I've been kind of looking forward to for a while just because it really brought me back to kind of like the original Kirby on the NES. So, uh, well of course you know with all the fancy features but we're going to go ahead and start Let's Play because yeah this game is awesome. So let's see, right now I'm we'll probably mess around with the Star Slam Heroes yet. I've not actually seen what that feature is but we're going to go ahead and start on the story mode. So far from what I've seen, this game actually has pretty nice looking graphics, which is always crazy. Of course, you know Nintendo, they always manage to somehow make all their first party games look freaking amazing. It's crazily detailed, especially when you think... What was it? Kirby is using the sword power, and I saw like one scene with his like knitted house. Like, dude, I can almost see the stitching in that. What the heck? Of course, I love how they made Dreamland look. It's like, damn, this looks freaking hella sick, man. You'll see we got all the evil hearts and the good hearts floating down the Dreamland. Seriously, why King DDD always trying to take over everything? I mean, he literally. You know, as his name suggests, lives like a king, has his own castle and servants, and plenty of food. And from what I've seen in this game, we're gonna pretty much be having buff DDD, which is gonna be, or Swoldy. I'm not sure if we have to give him an official name, but cause Kirby gets a pink hat, because he's an adorable little puffball that we must, we, we must all protect. Now we must go to see what the hell DDD is doing this time. World of Peace, Dreamland. Alright, so this is actually kind of a cool little layout they have for this. It's kind of like... Reminds me a little bit of the how they did the Yarn Yoshi a bit. Minus the whole yarn. Alright, so yeah. That's kind of cool. You can totally freaking collect stars. Explore the little landscape. Of course, you can't go anywhere. Until we start our first world. It's most likely going to be tutorials like, hey, by the way, this is how you make friends, this is how you eat, and this is how you gain your powers. And this is, oh, this is how you jump. This will, hey, man. Oh, you won't let me do it. Okay. This is will actually let you do the features until... So basically have it, so let's see. So now we got our first little ability. Which is actually I think one of the ones I used in I think the first one a lot. It's actually kinda cool having like a full Kirby game that's because it's just, uh, I think for the past most of the traditional type Kirby games have all been on handheld. Oh no, they're gonna hide us! If only we had a friend. Oh wait, he is the friend. Take that, you brute. Look at you, you're fabulous. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, do it. Do I kiss him. Look at that, he went from dreadful to fabulous in like two seconds. It was amazing. Kirby, you gotta start doing makeovers. Because you are a genius! We'll make more! You, look at you! Fabulous! Come on, buddy, we're going! Not you, come here! You're going with us, bitch! Yes! And of course, either most of these guys you can actually. Oops, no, I'm not trying to make friends with the tree. But you can actually. You can only do four at a time, but you can also, you know, switch out. Uh, people if you need to switch, and I don't know if we have any powers here. Yeah. You can actually gain powers uh, if you have somebody who has like a fire element, you can have fire swords, fire yo-yos. You have fire whatever, pretty much. These motherfuckers. We already have you. Oh my, collecting friends? It's like Pokemon almost. Jeez. This bitch. Didn't I teach you a lesson once? Okay, anyways. Come on guys, let's grab this shit. 
boy. Wait, hold on. I need this. I like how everybody tries to somehow float in midair. It actually does it too. God dang, you Kirby took his ass out. Real sorry, man. We already got you. You're already in our game. Oh, here he is. So this is the guy we can actually use to power up our current weapons. So go ahead, throw ourselves a little heart. I'm sorry, sword dude, since we already got you, you'll be in replace. Now, if we hold our sword, we can become He-Man. I have the power! Now we can also catch the grass and fire, which is freaking cool. But yeah, so far from what I've played this, from this game on my personal playthrough, I've definitely been loving this. It actually, even though they added a bunch of different stuff you can do with the enemies, it kind of brings back like memories of like this kind of stuff you can do in a Kirby. I think the original, what's it called? I forgot what the one was called, but the one on the um, Super Nintendo. I remember you could sit there kind of do stuff like that. Or kind of similar to this. And the one on the NES will probably be my favorite just because it was actually the first one I got to play back when... I think I was in high school, I was actually... I discovered emulators for the first time, which is weird, but... I remember I had all the, like, all the NES ROMs in, like, one folder, so I was just going through games, and then... I think eventually I hit Kirby and stuff, I'm like, what's this thing? Okay, let's play this game. And then eventually I started playing and I was kind of there for the next few hours because I was like, holy shit, this is fun. Hell yeah. Eventually I did at one point actually have the original copy of Kirby for the NES. I definitely love what they did with the visual style of this game. It's kind of like almost they took like the style like they do kind of with the, with the yarn type games, but then they actually, you know, made it more pretty, and not, you know, made out of cloth. But it's definitely pretty nice, because I remember... What was it? I believe the Wii version? I forget, I'm totally blanking on the name right now, but... I remember that one of uh, Kirby... Crystal Shards? No, what? that was N64 version. Or oh, maybe, I think that was maybe a Yarn Kirby, but basically I remember the one that was released on the Wii. Uh, basically, I remember that one was pretty fun, but then, what was it? The only problem is it was just too damn easy. And, like, it was kind of like, yeah, this, this is kind of fun. Yeah, I remember... I think there's actually two there at least on the Wii. I'm gonna look that up later. Figure out which one I'm trying. I think it was a yarn one, though. The one I can remember. Oh, you'll son of a bitch. How dare you. Think I can throw hard at him? Hey! Uh, who do we want to switch out? We got blades, fire, or bombs. Go ahead and switch out Mr. Bomb. Okay, some people could say he's not Mr. Bomb. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, this one is pretty... There's usually a pretty good indicator in this game that... Oh wait, hold on. Need to switch powers. There's actually one cool part, so pretty much when you see some of the newer enemies, kind of like, oh, I'm going to probably need them, so I either need to make them my friend or absorb their powers. And of course, the sword one makes it pretty easy, because you can just like, oh, I need ice, here we go. And as you go through the game, we also collect these uh, puzzle pieces, kind of like how we have the street pass. You actually have a lot of uh, different like pieces you can consider collect throughout the levels, and of course, it goes together and make a picture. So far, a lot of the hidden spaces aren't too bad. There's some parts where you have to guess which route you're going to take, because then the others will be blocked off, so... Sometimes that might make you have to have some sort of... maybe a couple tries in the level, but otherwise... Some of the collectibles have been too bad. And I also love the fact that they brought this one, this part I remember specifically from... The NES Kirby, which is a cloud jump, so I was like, hey, this is back, hell yeah. They listen, they really listen, man. Yeah. The whole squad is here, man. 
So we can see a couple of those, and these big ones, like, I think do three pieces at a time. Which is definitely very nice. As we go through, I think later we'll unlock this place where you get the chance to draw the enemy to actually bring on your friend's team. So that's actually pretty fucking cool. This one happens to be a fire level, so looks like our fire friend's probably going to be leaving. Because we don't actually really have much of a use for him. So as for you, come here. You're going to be useful. As for this guy, as much as I like him, we're kind of in a whole water area, so that wouldn't really make sense. I mean, uh, we're in a whole fire area, so we don't need a fire teammate. Hold on. Give it to me, boy. Aqua sword. Oh, that's cool. Alright. So I like how some of these actually powers have, uh, you know, their charge abilities. Oh, let me just send them. I bet this one I've seen from the CPUs looks like it'd actually be fun getting like multiple people together and actually going through these levels. So these guys, like, sorry bruh. I don't think so. I think each level does have its own boss. That was actually kind of cool to um, As you guys will see probably later on in the playthrough, we actually get to fight the big, big giant tree that we've faced quite a few times before, but I was like, hey look, he's back. This is actually pretty dang cool. There we go. This guy, you think you're special. See that, folks? Man, Curry freaking takes people out with the sword. Probably one of my favorite ones to use on him. Like, no, Kirby gives zero fox. I don't know if you guys notice any quality in you know, my little square that I am above, but I am currently using... The review should be out by the time you guys see this part of the playthrough, so... Like, yeah, if you guys seen the C922, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I'm using right now. So far, it seems to be... Oh, no, I didn't want the freaking rock power. Oh, actually, wait, no, we need the rock power for this part. So we get the slide, baby. I like how Kirby just changes in the random shit. Ta-da! But yeah, anyway, I was gonna say... I think... Oh shit, what did I do? Oh, that was an accident. Alright, apparently I'm Water Rock. Oh, that's right, you can freaking launch Kirby. So I forgot about that. Anyways, I was gonna say, I think the only... gripe that... So far, using Exploit isn't too bad with this camera. The only gripe part is the fact that... It does use a little bit more CPU than the Logitech software did, so that's... One little downside to it, but other than that, I can't, can't complain too much. This will actually be my first playthrough using this, so this will kind of, it's kind of pretty much be my test run to make sure nothing goes wrong while recording. Also, I am currently using a third party at my events. If you guys seen the Insignia doc that I've done, um, I am currently using that one because... What was it? Yeah, I've already done that. So, basically... So I'm using the third party dock just to actually test something out because there's been reports that this new firmware we got on the Switch um, happens to, at least mostly with the Nyko dock and everything, but 
pretty much had an issue where it's kind of messing a lot of people's up. The Nyko ones have had issues kind of all along, so... I'm purposely doing this one. I had somebody ask me on the review video that we did um, about like, hey, have you tried using the dock with the 5.0? And it was actually the first time using the dock. I believe, no, no, second time because I used it before. But I got a Zelda last weekend and I happened to, I was like, you know, I'm going to test out the dock. I don't want to just have it sit there until I get on vacation. So I decided to use it, played Zelda for like an hour or so, and so far... Everything seems to be going well. Runs pretty dang good. Doesn't overheat nothing. So it's actually not been too bad. So hopefully that's the case. Hopefully Nintendo maybe addresses the issue. You think they would address the issue because it's kind of a big deal Nintendo. Another car going, good, good. Now buy our $80 dock. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go, let's go. Oh shit, we need to get that down there. Let's do it, boys. Damn, we took them all the heck out. Got some snacks, get a puzzle piece. Do it. Or, never mind, you guys, screw it. Fine, just take him out. I didn't want to take him out anyways. It's gonna exhaust me too much. Oh, I can't be bothered to do that. Sorry, just double checking to make sure. Actually, seems so far my CPU and RAM have actually kind of evened out, so... So far this is working pretty decent. And so far I have... My friend that dude, what is that? Hold on, can we get out of your rock safe for a second? Nobody kill him, please. What the hell is that? Okay, I'm grabbing it. Okay, Kirby, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the hell that was. This. See, I've actually went through this level before, but now I'm doing it on a Let's Play. This is the first time I've seen it. I'm like, oh, I didn't know I could actually do anything to those guys. So I don't know, maybe I just gotta start throwing more hearts at people and so just see if it has any different reactions like that. I'm like, okay, apparently everybody's got an attack up. It's pretty cool. for too long. Don't seem like it. Okay. Ice bombs? Oh, that's cool. Let's see how this does. Neat. Okay, I guess I'll just chill with this power until I find something else that piques my interest. Alright, here we go, here we go. Attempt just right. Come on. Nah, damn it. I haven't been able to hit number one yet, but I will. Let's see our star pieces. Here's what the I'm guessing. Oh, I see. It's an old NES artwork of Kirby. That's freaking badass. So what I'm thinking, these pictures are like, like black and white. They probably get colored once you collect all the pieces, but probably little things of like all the original artwork. I like that. That's freaking cool. You can definitely tell they were thinking back to the original Kirby when making this one, from what I can tell. So we got that. And now we can go to here. And I believe we can actually summon an enemy to be our friend. No, no, I didn't want to go back, man. It's okay, we can quit. We can quit out. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead. Hey, right, this is power? No. 
No, I can't do that out of level. Okay. I was trying to see, I was like, oh wait, no, I was like, can I suck up these ones? That's all I want to do with the spear, but wait, I think the whole goal is make them down your friend. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we got. Wait, leave that. Hey. Uh, let's see. I will go ahead and get rid of Blade Dude and then we'll have this little guy on our team. Hell yeah. 